Everything is so good. Reminds me of my childhood in Venezuela. We had a beach house in Puerto Piritu. It's a beautiful little beach area. Oh, such a relaxing memories of the Caribbean vacations. We're learning all about shamans. Shamans, it's like a Caribbean vacation. You know, we're going coconuts. Oh my goodness. The whole secret of shamans is like this. It's a day off. It's time to relax. Time to take a little bit of a break. Time to appreciate and realize just how fantastic and amazing and unbelievable and wonderful it is to be alive. And I'll tell you a deep secret all about Shabbos. If you look at the Ten Commandments, everybody knows the Ten Commandments, right? Number four is Shabbos. The first three, they're all about God. You have to know that God exists. You're not allowed to be an idolater. You can't blaspheme. And then it comes to Shabbos. Why is Shabbos number four? Deep idea. It's so beautiful. It's ridiculous. The implication of belief in God is Shabbos appreciating and loving and just enjoying life and just being thrilled with the effervescent verve of just wow that's what Shabbos is all about so you kick back enjoy eat a little eat a little bit more and good Shabbos we're about to be finished making our beautiful Shabbat feast and right now we're gonna focus on dessert we're gonna make ranginak just really good light yet absolutely delicious dessert that goes really well with Persian tea I have here my son Ariel, my eldest, and he is gonna help me make ranginak. We've done this many times before, haven't we? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so mommy's gonna cut these dates. I'm gonna take the pit out and check for bugs. I know by now you think I'm totally obsessed with bugs, but listen, I have found butterflies in those things, dancing lambada. So you don't want those guys. A little too crunchy, right, for the taste. So make sure there's no buggies in there, and that's it. You replace each one with a walnut, okay? Okay, let's put this one here. Hey, where the pet go? Oh, did I take it out without meaning to? <laughs> Was it okay, pitless? Okay, so disappearing pets. <laughs> okay, so can you take the pizza out and put walnuts? Let's see, a few more. That was a great job. Thank you so much for helping mommy. Give me a kiss. Can you please go upstairs and get ready for Shabbat? Thank you. That's mama. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna make an absolutely delicious syrup to drizzle over our ranginac. I'm gonna need this knife because I'm gonna cut five tablespoons of margarine. I'm gonna melt this margarine in the pot. I'm gonna measure five tablespoons of flour to melt along with the margarine. We're gonna cook the flour a little bit in it. Wait for my margarine to melt, then cut it up a little bit to help it. Once my margarine has melted, I'm gonna add the flour. Almost there, okay. Start measuring. Ranginac is mostly eaten at dessert time. Let's lower that a little bit, mix it together. See how it starts cooking and becoming thick and delicious. Ranginac is mostly eaten with a really warm cup of tea. It's really good. Okay. Now the flour has integrated with margarine. We're gonna add powdered sugar. This is gonna give it sweetness. Let's add a tablespoon, a good generous tablespoon of powdered sugar. Put that aside, mix it a little to integrate the sugar into the margarine. And next, I'm gonna add cinnamon. And that's gonna give a really yummy aroma. There we go. Just a little bit of cinnamon, there we go. We're gonna take this beautiful syrup and drizzle it on top of our neck. Well, let's drizzle the syrup on the ranginac. I love playing them like this individually. It just looks so pretty. And then that person gets two and it's just elegant and stunning. You can also play them in the shape of a pyramid. That looks very pretty too. Now we're gonna add some powdered sugar. You can also add cinnamon if you want, but we already added cinnamon to the syrup. We're gonna also add some pretty toasted sesame seeds. I can't make ranginac without trying a little bit. Let's see. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. It's so worth it. It's delicious because it's soft on the outside and when you bite you expect a bit, but you get a walnut. Mm. Sensational. And the syrup gives it a little bit of moisture. It's to die for. It's absolutely delicious and I just want to have it. Okay. <gasps> Look at the time. I have to go get ready for Shabbat. I have to go check on the kids. I'll see you in a bit.
ברוך אתה אמני אלוקינו מלך העולם, אשר קידישנו במצוותיו וציוונו ליק נר של שבת. שבת שלום, תודה רבה